Are you guys ready to do our retrospective once again for Nintendo's first party games? Let's go. All right. Well, I guess it's not all first party. It's just, you know, exclusives because some are developed by other other studios. All right, let's go. Number uh, 2018. So 2018, I got the games from Wikipedia, Polygon, and GameSpot. Wikipedia didn't have all, like, a really comprehensive one. So I had a, I double-checked, and um, they were missing some. So I added, added, a, added a few. Um, 2018 is kind of like one of the... Uh, the more down years for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, after 2017, it makes sense. You know, 2018 is like the cool down period in a way. Uh, first game, let's see. Um, this is the weird one. Nintendo Labo came out in 2018. Um, you guys remember that being a big deal? <laughs> I remember it. I don't remember it being a big deal. Uh, I think it was, <laughs> I remember it being a big deal because it was something. Um, something new like it was it was like a, a lot of people were not expecting nintendo to release something like that like a like i remember like memes came out like cardboard and that they were selling cardboard oh um, yeah and so yeah i remember it being big like that uh, but it sort of like died out um as time went by mm-hmm. yeah but um mm. I remember I, it got praised by, by a lot of people, you know, then uh, they were like, the Nintendo was always that company who would, who, who would do something like that, you know, who would release something like that. Um, so, uh, you know, in that sense, I, I guess it was pretty, pretty big for Nintendo. Right. I mean, for the enthusiasts that are into this kind of thing, and then for, for the children, it was, it was, it was a good thing for Nintendo to do. I mean, it's new. Nobody really does it, so can't knock them too much for that. It's very, um, it's very niche. That's why. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it, good for them for trying something different. Something yeah. New. Yeah. Let's see what else came out. How about we talk about Mario Tennis Aces? Came out in 2018. Did you guys play this one? No, and I remember. When it was announced, um, it was something that Luis and I were like, oh, we're going to get. Because, uh, I mean, the Mario sports games are pretty good. <laughs> They're pretty solid games. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, but no, we, we haven't had a chance to buy it or, or play it. Um, I know it's... Wasn't that like... Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I still want to play it. Maybe down the line. Um, if it ever goes on a discount, <laughs> we'll get it. But uh, but yeah. Mm. Uh, I uh, I think they released a uh, a demo uh, sort of thing before like the release, and I did try a few few matches there. Um, it, it looked, you know, it played. It was really fun. Um, it, and from what I've heard, you know, it it was a better a better game than like the Wii U one. The Ultra Smash, I think it was called, um, and because that that game for the Wii U got like a lot of criticism, and so it was a huge improvement from that game to this one. Uh, and like Jose said, you know, it, it is a game that I was interested in, that we were interested in, uh, and I don't know, like like Jose said, maybe down the way, you know, um, I'll get it, you know, eventually, and just go ahead and play that. Uh, but I think that this was like the first um, sports or Mario sports game that came out right and 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 on the Switch, sorry. Um, and then uh, I guess with that success, you know, we're, we're getting Mario Golf too um, this year. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. Um... Tennis aces. I wasn't. I was like kind of man on it, but kind of the whole time I kind of just didn't really. I I watched some gameplay of it. I think I watched Dashy play it. Dashy games, but um, yeah, I wasn't too interested in picking this one up. Let's see. Um, this game is no longer exclusive to the Switch. 
because I think it released on Xbox and maybe some other platforms, but Octopath Traveler came out in 2018. Uh, I know you guys caught this one when it came uh, around the time it came out. Um, how'd you guys like this one? Right? You can't. You you got it like around the time it came out. Yeah. Um. I I, I bought it. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and it has its problems, especially with the story. Uh, it's not a, as cohesive, I guess. Um, you know, there's eight characters in the game. Uh, each one has its own story, uh, and they they're sort of connected, like really small threads um, <laughs> here and there. Uh, and that was one of the biggest criticisms that the game got that uh, that you know, like maybe like the stories from each character it wasn't they they wanted to see something more connected, you know, more um solid as a story. Uh, personally, though, I I did enjoy it um a lot. Uh, of course, I, there were some some characters' stories that I, I enjoyed more than the others. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think you know if they, if they and I don't know, like if they can make the story better, um, I think it, it would have been a, a better game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, the time that I played, you know, it was uh, I really really liked it. Um, the music, I really liked the music, the the art style that that the game handled. Oh, I remember it was like, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, that. It, that was like the the thing that got the most praise out of that game, and which you know well deserved. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really, I really liked that game. Um, um so uh, you know, because you know, I'm talking about like the connection, and uh, you know, no spoilers, but after like the or like near the end, you know, there's there's more. Uh, story I think elements that sort of like connected even more um, but yeah um, and then just uh, like the a secret boss and dude that thing's impossible but um, <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean it's it's like uh, the I guess like the, the typical RPG um, uh, but I don't know I, I really enjoyed it uh, I think it's one of the, the best games that came out in that year awesome Yeah, um, I played it too, and uh, I, similar to what Lee said, it's it's pretty, um, it's a pretty neat game. Um, I like the graphics as well. Um, I I will say that I wasn't as, uh, in, well, I mean, I I did complete almost everyone's um storylines, um, except for one. I, I I remember I still needed one more, um. And it's the character that I started with, <laughs> and that's mm-hmm. the one. That's the one arc that I didn't finish, because um, oh. I don't know. Like, I, but that, but that point, I guess for me, like I was uh, saturated with, with the game. I don't know. It felt very, like it was just like a lot for me. Um, and mm-hmm. I think it's because, like we said, like the stories, like each of of these characters' stories. Um, like you know, they have their own thing going on, and they're very, very loosely connected, and so it didn't really feel like a, like a, like one game, you know. Like it felt like different little games, and and mm. and you never really get that sense of, like, oh, we're we're all working towards one main goal or one main, you know, Got thing it. that unifies us. Um, and I think that that was a bit detrimental um, to the game, in my opinion. Um, and so, yeah, like by the time I got to to that last like part of the, um, the character's uh, storyline, I was just kind of over it. <laughs> I don't know. It was just <laughs> too much. Okay. Cool. Um, I did play uh, the demo or maybe a couple demos of this one. And... Um, I think because because it was just like a bite sized approach, I did I do recall the story being uh, grasping. Like I liked I liked how the narrative was going. Um, there weren't that many characters for me. Well, how I played it, I didn't play as the all the stories didn't really intersect. I kind of just got like this character and then that character and then that's kind of all I remember really. I didn't really dive into too much different things, but the gameplay combined with the art style combined with how the story was presented, what what I experienced in the demo. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It just kind of sucks that 
they don't really that it feels like mini games for each character rather than one cohesive like go to you're we're working toward this together to overcome a certain evil or whatever it is so interesting takes that's really interesting you guys talking about Octopath Traveler let's see what's next um Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. So this came out in the Wii U, right? It was we it was on the Wii U and then it got released on the on the Switch. Right, it was a port. Yeah. So I know you guys really like this game, so I wanted to give it a mention. Um also while you're talking about it, like if you can, like as a person who loves Donkey Kong Country, the first one, like how, I I kind of want you to sell me on this <laughs> legit. All right, so um, actually, for Tropical Freeze, I bought that game, um, which was weird. Um, but uh, so yeah, I was the first one to play it. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Donkey Kong uh, Country. Um, I think it was the second one, no, that we played. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much like the only Donkey Kong like. Uh, experience i've had um so revisiting you know that you know in this game um it is very um faithful to you know what donkey kong is about um and uh, i enjoyed it. it first of all i mean i think the graphics look nice um, i think it's a really nice game a nice looking game um it's very it's very challenging. Um, some of them, some of the, like the, what is it? Like the, the scenarios? No, the wor world, no? Or the stages, some of the stages <laughs> um, are very challenging um, just because you have to be very precise with, you know, your timing, um, you know, jumping from one platform to another, uh, avoiding, you know, like the obstacles and the monsters. Uh, and so, that aspect of it, I'm um, really, um, it's something that I enjoy, and just you know, a bit, a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, uh, I think I completed. I'm a completionist, so I think I did get like every, you know, letter and you know, the like K, the O, the N, the G, um, right, and like the the little medallions and all that. Um, I I mean I, I I guess if you're like a fan, um, like you say you are, I think you would enjoy this game, um, just because it is very, uh, I don't know, it feels like a Donkey Kong game. Like you mm -hmm. know, you go into it expecting, you you get what you expect, right? Um, I I don't really have much to compare it to. Um, I think the bosses are pretty, pretty neat. I I wouldn't say they're like uh i don't think they stand out um mm. but uh but i mean it's it's a really it's a nice game it's a nice um revisit to you know donkey kong it sounds like donkey kong country and those bosses were were like i mean I have, i'm nostalgic it's not nostalgic for them but those bosses were kind of not... yeah exactly um and that's what i that's that's why it's a little hard for me to be like oh you know it's a it's a like to straight out say oh it's a really good game just because you know, who am I to to judge these like bosses, for example, say they're not memorable mm -hmm. when, you know, the design of like the, you know, Donkey Kong Country um, of the, the designs of those bosses were probably not as memorable either, but it's just my nostalgia, you know, and obviously yeah. something I grew up with and I have that attachment to it. So right. that's why it's, I don't, I don't want to say like, oh, you know, I don't want to like dock points for it being not as memorable when I mean, this could possibly be the game that, I don't know, the game, you know, for you or for anyone who plays it. Right. So. Oh, man. Dude. Tropical Freeze, I think it's, I'm going to have to make room somewhere. It sounds tempting, really tempting. 